Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions for Appium testing in automation, along with detailed and informative answers. 1. What is Appium, and how does it differ from other mobile automation tools? Answer. Appium is an open-source automation tool for testing mobile applications on Android and iOS platforms. It is unique as it allows testing native, hybrid, and mobile web applications using a single API. Appium does not require app modification and supports multiple programming languages. 2. Explain the architecture of Appium. Answer. Appium has a client-server architecture. The Appium server is responsible for receiving commands and interacting with the mobile device. While the client libraries written in various programming languages facilitate communication between the test script and the Appium server. 3. What are the different types of mobile applications, and how does Appium support them? Answer. Appium supports testing of three types of mobile applications. A. Native apps, built for a specific platform Android or iOS. B. Hybrid apps, combines elements of native and web applications. C. Mobile web apps, web applications designed to run on mobile browsers. 4. How do you identify mobile elements in Appium? Answer. Mobile elements are identified using locators such as ID, class name, accessibility, ID, XF, and name. Appium provides methods to locate and interact with these elements in your test scripts. 5. Explain the difference between implicit and explicit weights in Appium. Answer. Implicit weights set a global timeout for the lifespan of the WebDriver session, while explicit weights are applied to specific elements. Allowing the script to wait until a certain condition is met before proceeding. 6. What is the Appium Inspector, and how is it used in mobile app testing? Answer. Appium Inspector is a graphical user interface tool that helps inspect and identify elements in a mobile application. Testers can use it to generate Appium code, view element attributes, and understand the app structure. 7. How does Appium support testing on real devices and emulators or simulators? Answer. Appium can interact with real devices and emulators or simulators by configuring the desired capabilities appropriately. For real devices, you provide device details, while for emulators or simulators, you specify the emulator type and platform. 8. Explain the concept of desired capabilities in Appium. Answer. The desired capabilities are a set of key value pairs used to provide information to the Appium server about the testing environment and the behavior of the automation session. They include details like platform name, device name, app package, app activity, and more. 9. How do you handle gestures, for example, swipe, tap, pinch in Appium? Answer. Appium provides methods for handling gestures. A. Swipe. Use the swipe method with starting and ending coordinates. B. Tap. Use the tap method with the element's coordinates. C. Pinch. Use the zoom method with starting and ending coordinates. 10. Explain the difference between skew test and Y automation in Appium. Answer. Skew test is the modern automation framework for iOS, while Y automation is the older framework. Appium uses Skewatest for iOS automation, but providing better performance and compatibility with the latest iOS versions. 11. How would you handle mobile app testing on different operating systems using Appium? Answer. You can configure desired capabilities with the appropriate platform name Android or iOS. To specify the operating system for testing, Appium will then interact with the specified platform accordingly. 12. What is the Appium Desktop and how is it beneficial for testing? Answer. Appium Desktop is a graphical user interface tool that provides a visual representation of the Appium server. Testers can start the server, inspect elements, and experiment with desired capabilities, making it easier to set up and configure Appium. 13. Explain the concept of context switching in mobile testing with Appium. Answer. 
Context switching involves switching between different contexts, such as native, web, or hybrid, during mobile testing. Appium provides methods to switch contexts based on the type of application being tested. 14. How do you handle dynamic elements in mobile app testing with Appium? Answer. Similar to web automation, dynamic elements in mobile testing can be handled using stable locators, XAF, or accessibility IDs. Implicit and explicit weights can be employed to ensure the element is present before interacting with it. 15. What is the Appium server log, and how can it be useful in troubleshooting? Answer. The Appium server log records the interactions between the Appium server and the mobile device. It can be useful for troubleshooting issues, identifying errors, and understanding the flow of commands during test execution. 16. Explain the process of installing Appium and setting it up for mobile testing. Answer. To install Appium, you can use package managers like NPM or download the Appium desktop application. Setup involves configuring desired capabilities, connecting to a mobile device or emulator, and starting the Appium server. 17. What are the challenges of mobile testing, and how does Appium address them? Answer. Challenges include diverse devices, OS versions, and screen sizes. Appium addresses these challenges by providing a unified automation framework that supports testing on various devices and platforms. 18. How would you handle authentication pop-ups in mobile app testing with Appium? Answer. For authentication pop-ups, Appium provides the authenticate method to handle username and password authentication. You can interact with the authentication fields and submit the credentials using this method. 19. Explain the role of Appium WebDriver in mobile app testing. Answer. Appium WebDriver is a part of the Appium architecture responsible for interacting with mobile applications. It translates WebDriver commands into mobile-specific commands understood by the Appium server. 20. What are the advantages of using Appium for mobile app testing? Answer. Advantages include cross-platform support, support for multiple programming languages, no app modification required, Seamless integration with testing frameworks, and a large community for support. 21. How do you handle testing on different screen sizes and resolutions using Appium? Answer. Appium provides commands to interact with mobile elements based on their attributes, making it resolution independent. Additionally, you can design test cases to cover various screen sizes and resolutions. 22. What is the significance of mobile automation testing in a CI or CD pipeline, and how does Appium integrate into it? Answer. Mobile automation testing in CI or CD pipelines ensures the continuous validation of mobile apps. Appium can be integrated into CI or CD tools like Jenkins, allowing automated tests to run seamlessly after code changes. 23. Explain the process of capturing screenshots in Appium during test execution. Answer. Appium provides the getScreenshots method to capture screenshots. You can use this method and save the screenshot to a file for later analysis or reporting. 24. How does Appium handle mobile app installation and uninstallation during test execution? Answer. Appium can install or uninstall apps using desired capabilities. For example, setting the app capability installs the app, while setting fluorescent uninstalls the app before each test. 25. What is Appium's approach to handling mobile app state background and foreground during testing? Answer. Appium provides the background method to push the app to the background for a specified duration. You can use this method to test scenarios where the app transitions between background and foreground states. 26. How do you perform data-driven testing in mobile app automation with Appium? Answer. Appium supports data-driven testing by externalizing test data into separate files, for example, Excel, JSON, or CSV, and dynamically feeding it into test scripts. This allows the execution of the same test with different sets of data. 27. 
Explain the concept of mobile app localization testing and how does Appium support it? Answer. Localization testing ensures an app functions correctly in different languages and regions. Appium supports this by allowing the testing of localized apps on devices configured for specific languages. 28. How do you handle network conditions for example, 3 grams, 4 grams, we fi during mobile app testing with Appium? Answer. Appium provides the set network conditions method to simulate different network conditions. This allows testing how the app behaves under various network speeds and connectivity scenarios. 29. What is the Appium server's role in mobile app testing, and how can you start and stop it programmatically? Answer. The Appium server facilitates communication between the test script and the mobile device. You can start and stop the Appium server programmatically using command line interfaces or programmatically through the Appium Server API. 30. How do you handle testing on different versions of Android and iOS using Appium? Answer. Appium allows you to specify the desired Android or iOS version in the desired capabilities. This ensures that your tests run on the specified platform versions, helping validate app compatibility. These detailed answers provide comprehensive insights into various aspects of Appium testing in automation interviews. Customize these responses based on your experiences and the specific requirements of the interview. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.